fall while we were in Rhode Island covering uh, Rhode Island Comic Con. Uh, so shout out to On Your Knees for doing that. Um, also, <laughs> all right, and uh, giving everybody a chance to start their intro. Starting with D Mizzle of FreePlayMode.com. What's going on, man? What you been playing? Oh man, I just finished Gears of War Four, and I have to say I was very impressed by it. I've been playing it on the PC, and it is, it looks great with like maxed out settings and all that. So mm-hmm. I definitely recommend anyone who's listening to this to get the digital version, so you do get the oh. PC and the Xbox One version. Mm-hmm. I've also been like abusing the hell out of Humble Bundles. If you don't know what Humble Bundles are. Go to www.humblebundle.com mm-hmm. and only for a little bit of money, which goes to charity, you can get a lot of good games. So, all right, cool, cool. Matter of fact, um, the missile, if you want to do like a dual playthrough of Gears of War 4, I already did my playthrough, you did yours, but we can probably attack it on a higher difficulty if you're, if you're willing to do so. All right, all we'll right, do that. All right, so we're gonna have to do like the fusion. Uh, not the Patara earrings because you know that's a whole other story. Dragon Ball Super pissed a lot of people off. Last week. <laughs> but um, all right, um, K. Simi, what's going on? What you been playing? What you been up to, bro? Oh uh, man, uh, like I was saying before we uh, got started, man, I, I just picked up my PS4 Pro from on today. Um, been playing a lot of games, testing it out. Uh, Watch Dogs 2. Been playing more Battlefield, mm-hmm. uh, B Tomb Raider. Um, oh, what I was you? saying though. Yeah, I'd be D Tomb Raider. That's the, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. If anybody got a PS4 Pro, Tomb Raider is is the game. That that's that's the best way to, to work PS4 Pro. Or really, in these whole mid generation upgrades, that's how you want to do. Mm-hmm. Give us 1080p. Give us 1080p full uh, for, uh, 60 frames per second. That's that's really the way you want to do. Or if people want to test out their 4K, give them options, man, because that's what Tomb Raider does. Tomb Raider has three different modes yeah. to where you can do on the fly, and it's no the game doesn't have to reset. You literally just go into the options, and you can switch it. It's a little time. Oh wow, switch. really? Just like a and PC? Just like a PC, bro. So that's the that's really the best game that I would that I would suggest for anybody that's uh, that has a PS4 Pro. But what I was saying that was very important about these 4K TVs, man. They're they're you some and some of these TVs you're gonna have to go into the settings. I got an LG 55 inch 4K TV, mm-hmm. so. Uh, fairly, you know, fairly common, you know, brand. So, if you're having issues with your 4K not showing or your HDR not coming on you know, on, on program that you know you should have it on, mm-hmm. go into your go into your settings and and actually go through all your settings. I'm, I'm, my TV is going to be different probably from everybody else's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just check your settings because that could be the problem. Because I ran into that when I plugged in my PS4 Pro, I was getting a black screen. And I couldn't, I couldn't get the resolution right, so I had. Yeah, to- Maximilian was having problems with that. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of shit that that you know people are gonna be mad about, but you know you gotta do a little bit of research, you do gotta do a little bit of work to get mm-hmm. things working, especially if you got new equipment. So, but you know that's that's the main thing I wanted to put out there for the people, you know, because I know that a lot of people got those TVs. Yeah, we're going to revisit, like, you know, Sony's on the radar today, but, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be actually first on the few topics that we have for today. But um, <laughs> um, giving, uh, not skipping Nelson intentionally, but you know, <clears throat> uh, saving uh, him for last, but uh, on your knees, man, you're, you're my favorite staff right now. But uh, what you been up to, what you been doing besides steering the tank last week? Um... Uh, I, I don't think it was steering the tank as long as much as crashing the train, but um. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you did a good job, man. I was very happy with it. All right. Well, um, I finished up a uh I picked up a couple things on the uh, GOG sale. I'm gonna start checking into. Uh, I've been reading some sci-fi stuff online, so I've been mostly doing that this week. But uh, I'm also checking out. For those interested, Elder Scrolls Online's having a massive sale this weekend, a free weekend, uh, mm-hmm. top of a sale. I'm having issues getting it installed. Apparently, it doesn't like my computer too much, but um, uh, it is by the by the place. Once you buy the uh, content, you don't have to pay for it anymore. Um, okay. So I'm gonna check that out this weekend too. All right, cool, cool, cool. To Takuma, what's going on, brother? What you been playing? You, I know your Akuma's coming or Goki's coming. Yeah, Street Fighter Five, and you happy? It, it, you know, just not to bust your bubble. <laughs> he might not even play the same. So don't get like you know all super. Okay, it's just. 
it's just still cares. Just, I'm glad that he's finally about to land up with some new characters. Other than I've been playing um I've been playing um most of the Xbox One lately. Some um I just stopped playing Bayonetta again. It's back to the paddle. Yeah. And um my PS3 for right now. I need to pick up a good game for the PS4, but mm -hmm. other than that though, I've just been chilling and working. Alright, alright. And uh, Mr. Co CEO Nelson, what's going on? How are you feeling? How, and you know, what what's your status? Well, what's going on guys? Sorry for the long hiatus. First off, I'd like to thank you for that. They're doing a lot of background uh, stuff for the company and I haven't been feeling well. I just got a surgery yesterday for kidney stones. Don't want to get into detail what exactly what they did, but I'm on bed rest and gonna be helping out from time to time until I get 100%. Alright man, Division Speed Recovery. And with that, let's jump into the first topic. It's, you know, pretty much giving some attention to the PlayStation 4 Pro. And there's going to be a special on PlayStation VR headed by me, Zasha, and Shinwar. Uh, we went to Rhode Island Comic Con and got to actually hands-on demo that uh, Batman, you know, uh, VR in depth. And I would say... I was not really expecting much from PlayStation VR, but I, I was pr I'm pretty much sold on it. I probably will get one. And if you don't even need a PlayStation 4 Pro to utilize it, is this the Pro will make it look better? Man, I'm telling you that. Oh, so I can I can still have my PS4. Yes, so you, can you can still okay. use the original PS4 to to run the PlayStation VR. It just won't have the high um, fidelity. Like it's gonna look like a PS3 game. Kind of, you know, but PS3 games didn't look like shit. 360 games didn't look like shit, you know, but I would say that the immersive experience, I'm not going to, you know, uh, burn that because me and Shinwa are working that special project. But I'm telling you guys, if you can get to a, a, a an electronic store where they'll allow you to demo the PlayStation VR, do it because the HTC 5 and the Oculus Rift are better versions. It's like the... the PlayStation VR is level 1, the Oculus Rift is level 2, and the HTC Vive is like Super Saiyan 3. And there's a place wow. in Somerville, New Jersey, that actually has the HTC Vive. You spend like 15 bucks for 30 minutes of like you're walking on Mars and all that other stuff. So I'm telling you, I can't even begin to explain what the experience is like, but Sony's trying to jump out the gate. But I would have rather them wait with the VR to keep up with the other two that are on the market. Mm -hmm. It's what it is. But that's my little rant as far as now. Meltgate. Apparently. <laughs> no, no, for real. Like, if, look in the stream. Like, but, no, he has the. He, bro, this is the silliest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. Yeah, but life. I'm, 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 I'm going yeah, to get into it right now. Now, here's my thing it's not without issues like you have new piece of hardware that comes out right one or two people might get a defective system you know what i mean it could have got bumped in shipping or whatever but there was a, uh, a a guy on twitter running around posting that his playstation 4 pro overheated right they started melting like one of the the classic neo geo where they didn't put oh. adequate fans inside the cpu to keep the internal housing you know but this is just one case you know and xbox fanboys and crap gamer like i i used to take crap gamer stuff like okay but he's like a bad example of being too microsoft he's way beyond and in case Simi has said this before he's like he's more than a fanboy he's you know? more bro this yeah. is this is the silliest shit i've ever heard bro yeah but and and you know what my thing with that is like crap gamer you know i'm gonna see if you can i'm gonna link you i'm gonna hashtag you like it's okay to be pro xbox but you sound anti sony now this, this is, is coming this is, this is the thing this yeah. is the thing with, with those dudes man in that whole camp because i because I, I i i look at some of their videos and just you know just watch you know what i'm saying and just to see what they do and a lot of times man i don't have a problem with them being like pro xbox or you being pro sony or anything but a lot of times they don't even talk about games like you know they they podcast and they yeah clickbaiting and they videos it, it's not it's it's their whole thing is 
not even talking about how good Gears was or how good Halo was. It's always about how bad something Sony is doing or something like that. So that's my main problem with them. Yeah, yeah. But this is this is the this is why I think this shit is so silly, bro. Has anybody looked at this uh, at the layout of the PlayStation Four Pro? Do you know where that spot where it's burnt at or supposedly melting? You know what's sitting right there? What the a fan. fan? Yeah, a, a fan. How in how in the world? You know what I think, uh, Kasimi? Uh, I think that somebody took a cigarette lighter and and put it on the side of the system, whatever. But guess what though? That's somebody who purchased a PlayStation Pro, a Sony guy. You know what I mean? Like, why would they do that? You know what I mean? Like it. I said this on some some podcasts ago that if you are an Xbox guy, support Xbox, but don't be a fanboy. If you're a Sony person, support Sony, but don't be tearing the other side of the house down you know all this stuff is clickbait and i wanted to send a message out to 1316 killer stop leeching off of people's views like we know crap gamer <laughs> and you know what i'm gonna call him on his shit like for real like you got crap gamer he has a following you know what i mean so he, he attacks review tech he attacks crap gamer like you know and then he goes and hey look if that's he claims he doesn't get paid to do his YouTube or it's not really a business, it's a hobby or whatever. If it's a hobby, I would just say you're taking it a little bit too serious, bro. Like, come on. You know, I'm not trying to sit here and, and, and get New Gaming Order, like, uh, you know, a rub or uh, get into a feud with another YouTuber. But come on, bro. Like, if somebody just posting or, or how he says regurgitating news, it's like, that's what I'm talking about. You know, it gets away from... Okay, a guy put something on Twitter, said his PlayStation 4 Pro was burned. I don't. I think it's bullshit. I think that if you have more, like cases of this happening, then okay, we gotta look into it. Red Rings of Death was illegitimate. I had to fix two Red Rings of Death 360s for uh, two for my friends and one for myself. It was a legitimate thing. But until you see like a hundred systems doing that, crap, gamers shouldn't have jumped on it. And then Bruh, the way that it's three, obvious th a lighter was put to that shit too. Like you can look at that shit and, and obviously see a lighter was put to it. And like I said, it, I, I I looked at the video. I put a I put a link in the in the, in the, in the chat yeah. for the breakdown, and it is it, literally right where the fan sits. So it's like, why would you even go through the trouble to to buy a PlayStation Four Pro just to burn to, it to set it on fire? Mm -hmm. And my and my man, my man was on a video talking about. I got a job that, that I can't get. Yet. <laughs> right, you know, so he, he, my man was bragging, talking about he pre-ordered the PS4 Pro and forgot to cancel it. He wasn't gonna get it, but you pre-ordered it and you forgot to cancel it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, dude, just it, it's, it's they it's send you emails. Hand. They send you emails yeah, to tell you. So it's 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 really getting out of hand with with like, this type of shit. My yeah. thing is this, um, mm -hmm. like I I doubt the validity of it, but. At the same time, the guy shouldn't have been receiving death threats on Twitter. That's what got me messed up. Because, like, if you look at the dude's Twitter, like, people were legitimately threatening to kill this dude over That's the internet. That's the internet. That's the internet, bro. Ain't nobody in that gangster. Yeah, that's the internet, bro. You ain't gonna stop that. No, but I'm just saying. I'm like, I'm like, wow, you were going in. I can I, I can understand going in on a dude because you think it's fake, but he said internet. Th there was literally people on his Twitter threatening to kill him over saying that the PS4 Pro overheated and burned on the side of the thing. But I'm you, like, this this console war is a real thing, man. You ain't know. It's a dude. <laughs> dude it's yeah, it's sure. Apparently, it's, <laughs> Apparently it's real out here in the battlefield. Donald like, Trump got in the office, this man. You the, can't be acting stupid. Hey, the funny thing about this dude, though, like Crap Gamer is not no new guy. He is he's been around doing this since the new generation started. Yeah. With the whole, he's been the one that, like I said, remember when we was talking about this? When he's the one that went at that uh, uh, Phil Spencer about not. Uh, buying quantum break no yeah, more. yeah 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 you know what a, he's a you know he's he's known on youtube for for doing reviews and not you know he had stole other people's gameplay to do his reviews like he's he, this guy is like not no new guy he's he's, he's pretty hate you know what i'm saying but it, it's like that internet the internet is all that you're gonna have people <laughs> do that man it's these people gonna threaten them all the time it's the internet so yeah but you know but my what? Man is crazy. Yeah. So my thing is, 
you know this whole thing where people are a little too sensitive that yeah you know me being pro microsoft but i oh, I'm, but i'm mainly pro gaming you know i own a mm -hmm. ps4 i i have pc I, you know what i mean i just favor one more than the other because of where my friends are okay yeah, you know so, that communities next you got uh these people you know crap gamer just needs to stop it like he, his format has to change now it's not all of his videos you know what i mean yeah okay one case like you know this person talking about his playstation 4 pro melted or had an issue i think that he should go into detail maybe do like a, a stripped down video to see wait hey maybe a cable failed or one out of like a hundred thousand systems who knows if if that if that did happen that did happen let's see how sony addresses it you know what i'm saying like look right. microsoft had to spend a lot of money a whole lot of money they could have e potentially failed with the 360 had they not went back to go and fix mine shinwars uh, uh, a whole bunch of people pretty much on this staff like they actually made good on like hey you purchase our product we're gonna go ahead and take care of you so Sony hasn't responded to this yet, so that's kind of like what Demizel said. Like, I don't think that it's a legit thing, or exactly. it might be a rare. Case. Why would they respond? Why would they respond if this is not a, a not a widespread issue? This is one. Yeah, I, I've only seen one picture. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I haven't heard nothing. I got one. I have had any issue that, like I said, the, the issue that I had was not with the PS4 itself. I would say I had to go into my settings on my TV. And, and do some things but i mean at that's at the end of the day if you want to call that an issue that's the issue that i had yeah that, that, that had update right that, like maximilian but, couldn't like, use his system for like 24 hours or something like that here's here's the thing like um when something like cat uh melts and catches fire like it doesn't warp the plastic in that way because these consoles are made around hard plastic mm -hmm. and this one looked like a total melting of the plastic on that <laughs> side of the console Cigarette like lighter. i remember like i remember when i had a red ring of death too and like the best it did in terms of case damage was it scored the outside and turned it brown but it didn't like actually warp the console plastic itself and that's how you can tell this like is like someone just looking for attention like mm -hmm. yeah like could it be legit more than likely no we're gonna have to wait and see if there are other cases but if you're gonna fake something melting down at least know the the yeah, innards of the, the console of <laughs> so you can like because like for something like oh, that shit. to happen for it to melt the actual plastic if you look at the breakdown it has to get through a heat shield and right. the fan and the fan and it has to burn long enough at a sustained heat in order for it to melt the plastic like that exactly absurd exactly so i got it in the background for you guys to to check out it just that doesn't make sense to me like you know um i guess the the twitter user is you, you can see him in the background and um, please those who watch the show no death threats or anything like that it's just console yeah it's discussion. not that serious you know what i mean like you know at the end of the day, I don't want to see anybody fail. You know, like, it is what it is. My Trump? <laughs> hey, you know what? The only political thing I'm going to say. Bomb hey. The, shit out of <laughs> <laughs> the only political thing I'm going to say is this. We have him. He's the pilot of the airplane. You don't want the pilot to fail. He has to get us to where we need to get to. See, so, this, I'm, this is what I like in it, too. Like, I don't want him to fail, but I like in it, too the a sports team like here you have this eighth grader who's the 12th man off the bench never played a minute of a game in his life and he got drafted by the number one pick in the nba now he's expected to beat superstars like lebron james and steph curry you hope he does well but you really know that that's not gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> now you know what i'm actually considering right, I, 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 I was considering doing a spin-off channel to talk about these things but you know i don't want to you know stir any issues so moving along but uh on your knees um what are your thoughts on you know some folks trying to stir more to the flame of the the combat war between microsoft sony nintendo like it, it's getting like takuma says like uh e-gangsters 
So, I mean, do you have any thoughts on this? Uh, you got your uh, people who want their 15 seconds of fame, so they'll, they're willing to lie, cheat, and steal. Which also contributed to Trump's rise, by the way, but that's a separate issue for another time. Uh -huh. um, so, it's... Uh, you just gotta, you just gotta figure out how to filter through the bullshit. Uh, filter through the bullshit. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. I oh mean, it, shit! Oh yeah, keep going, keep going. What, what, what happened, Alex? No, I, I, I'm looking at the the pictures in depth. Like, man, that's a bad burn. <sighs> Wait, he must have had it sitting on something. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean. Oh. Yeah, all you gotta do is hold like one of those, like a uh, you know what you used to light a grill with, like a fire one. Yeah. You can hold that to the outside for about like a good five minutes and get the same effect. All right, all right, but on your knees, continue. I'm sorry, but yeah, so uh, you just gotta learn to sit through the bullshit. But there's there were early reports of the console having issues, and I think it was from somewhat mainstream sources, but I really don't know because I don't pay attention to. Um, what the hell did uh, NYC call it? Uh, welfare gaming or something? Oh, poverty boxes? Yeah, poverty <laughs> boxes. That's it. <laughs> you know what? Shout out to NYC Playboy. I can't believe he said that. that he like poverty poverty. Boxes. And he was poverty going boxes. off, too. He was going off. I'm like, are you for real? Like, no, well, it's fucking folks want to pop off? Pop off? <laughs> <laughs> but, um... But, yeah, it's, um... Yeah, it's... People just looking for attention, and the only way to get rid of them is not to give them any. That, that's what it comes down to. But let's say, let's say, let's play devil's advocate. Let's say this is legit. What would Sony need to do to to quell this problem? You know, I mean. Well, if it's if it's a legit issue and more pop up, it sounds like a design flaw, and they would have to essentially recall all these first runs of mm -hmm. the PlayStation 4 Pro. Yeah. And do what Microsoft did, and either Which add would be bad. Yeah, they can't do that now. They're going into the holiday season. I mean, so. they would have to if that if this were if this were a serious thing. If this was real, then they would have to they'd have to do what they had to do. But mm -hmm. I mean, and then do a do a redesign for the second and yeah, dude, subsequent the second runs. Generation. Oof, that's yeah. gonna that's gonna hurt. But let's that, just that hope this them. is the only one of its kind because you know what the the x bots that are rejoicing at the failure of somebody else i'll say this let's not that you know god forbid that happens to the scorpio since That's this thing is gonna be like you know the ninja h2r motorcycle which you know has that thing runs really hot that's why they don't have <laughs> belly fairings on that motorcycle. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that's what happened to Xbox. It pretty much happened just creating some type of time paradox, and you just go back, go back a few days. You know? what, what's this? The Flash? <laughs> Unbelievable. But um, <laughs> no. But with that, um, Takuma, I wanted to give you and then Nelson a chance to speak on it. But your thoughts on like just how it's being handled, and then I'm gonna attack the YouTubers again. But all um, I gotta say is I hope you didn't buy one yet. Cause if you did, you may want to get your money back. <laughs> you know something, Takuma. Look, Lou gave me an order audience. Five hundred ninety-nine US dollars. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna go on record to apologize to Takuma because he did the smart thing. He went and just got the regular PS4 that is known to work what? instead of jumping. Yeah, no, I, I was getting on Takuma's case. I was, exactly. I was, yeah, so I'm swallowing crow right now, and Takuma so, dodged the bullet, so hey. Oh, oh, oh. So let me get this let Wait, me you're get swallowing this crow, Alex? You sure not swallowing let me, something else? Let me get this you know, straight. <laughs> let me get this straight. Nah, nah, I ain't letting you off the hook here, yeah, Alex. Wait, let, so let me get this straight. So you, after one false basic we all know this shit is bullshit bro we looking at the pictures and we seen the breakdown yeah yeah you telling me one false burn melting ps4 pro is is validating him not waiting for the PS4 no no pro? the thing is like by default most folks any smart consumer of electronics should always wait to the second wave all the bugs and so on and so forth now again i think this is bullshit i don't think that you know I think some somebody put a higher iron under or something, yeah. did something to it. But you know, just to make sure that everything is, is in working order, I think Takuma might have been onto something because that reinforced my old practices in terms of consuming any electronics from any store or uh, wait till the first waves are done because then you can find out, hey, I'm having problems with this, I'm having problems with that. 
those of you on another side, you know, I hate to bring a motorcycle reference, the Scully AR augment reality helmet was in um, prototype development. A lot of folks you know, who got their hands on it still had to work out some bugs, working with the uh, Google and so on and so forth, Android devices, and all of a sudden, bam, you know, a couple people got their helmets and it shut down. You know what I mean? There are some other reasons they were buying booze and strippers and whatever, but the device itself had still had ways to go. You know, and a lot of people no longer have support. You know what I mean? The early adopters, so on and so forth. That's always a risk that folks you know have to take. Mm -hmm. I think I think that there's two different ways that we that people are looking at this because me and you both look at it two different ways. I don't actually look at this as a new iteration of the PS4. No, 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 no. I, I see it's still a mid-cycle refresh. It's still a PS4. Right. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Right, but, uh, but but I I get what you're saying. What you're saying that it's the first line. It's the first PS4 Pro. It's the first line of PS4 Pro. Mm -hmm. So, but I, I I still look at it so much as a PS4 because honestly, when I turn it on, boots up the same way. Everything looks the same. The the thing that I would say that warns people to wait is not the system itself, not the hardware. It's the games that needed to catch up because not all the games have those Tomb Raider settings that I was telling y'all about. Those two, the unless they two pass the old games to, to as, use unless they pass the old exactly so that would be the reason to wait on the ps4 pro because of the because you know letting the developers catch up and do the settings the the right way and get the get the kinks out but i mean the hardware itself i haven't had any issues with it the hardware is you know, sony in my in my opinion makes some of the best hardware because i haven't had a lot of failure with any of my sony products or well, my playstation Mm -hmm. Mind if I yes. jump into that? Right, right, right. All right. All right. There's a little bit of a caveat to that. There has been like some issues with the games, and that the PlayStation 4 Pro doesn't have a true 1080p setting. And what I mean by that is, um, like uh, the original PS4 has like a 1080p setting. Like, um, you can run games in 1080p. You can run games in 720p. Mm -hmm. it, and uh, when you go and play the PS4 Pro, uh, it's not a whole lot of games, but it is a decent amount. Uh, Digital Foundry has found that mm -hmm. uh, due to the way the PlayStation 4 handles uh, 1080p, because what it does is that it down samples from the for the uh, above 1080p uh, graphics and do, does super sampling. And it is noted that some games actually run worse in this 1080p on the uh, this 1080p pro, uh, mode on the PlayStation 4 Pro than it does on the original PlayStation games like The Last of Us are notorious mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. And as it, it's definitely a, it's definitely more of a software issue, but it's also a hardware issue as well. Can, can Sony? Uh, patch it out. It remains to be seen, but I do agree that people should wait on a PlayStation 4 Pro. They should wait until at least like E3 till they get all the kinks worked out. Mm -hmm. And again, with the the all the rigmarole people have had to go through getting this thing set up, because like I've witnessed it firsthand. A friend of mine, I went with a friend to get a PlayStation 4 Pro because. He didn't have a PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. And it literally took us like nine hours to get the thing set up. Yeah, and that's what I've been was, hearing. I've been hearing this, this same thing. This was like, we had to like test all kinds of pass throughs, all kinds of settings on televisions. And like, what finally did it is because he has like a an Elgato and a, a switcher. Mm -hmm. What he had to do was run through, through his switcher to the elgato which is in his computer he has one that's built in mm -hmm. then back to the television in order for this thing to work yeah yeah that's the same thing maximilian had to do you know like yeah, and what, did mention that like yeah. what this tells me is that the handshake on the playstation 4 pros 4k slot that doesn't function properly like it the handshake takes longer than it should and that's what's causing the problem is that so what, that's a hardware thing not a software is it, it? it's a, it's both because uh what the what's the what the hdcp handshake does is it allows the console to essentially talk to your television 
and say okay this is the proper connection so we can show this image or this stuff at this resolution it's mm -hmm. not making the handshake properly and that's something that sony has to rectify with software because they can't go back in and make revisions to the hardware yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly all right so for for time um mugen what are your thoughts on what's going on between you know what's happening with some of the problems with the you know display for playstation 4 pro and what i think is a fake overheating thing like I, they, they have to show something like i don't know it's just one out of a hundred thousand but it's what it is but your thoughts um for the home burnout situation thing you can obviously tell that's fake i'm looking at the picture from the computer and i see that it's been hit with a hammer you can obviously, <laughs> you can oh. obviously tell that either someone took a, a lighter or um, like, like a small uh, blowtorch. And yeah, 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 yeah. On yeah. the side where it's going to elevate and pop up to a small micro bubble. I have many people, whether they're pro gamers or like hardcore fanatics, they bought a PS4 Pro. Nothing has been issue with the, with the physical hardware that they're eating or it, um, going nuts and haywire and smoke coming out, whatever the fuck these guys are doing. This is a person who truly is anti-Sony and he wanted to make a factual statement that there's something wrong with the hardware. You end up getting yourself noticed for like a couple of hours. That's all you got. Yeah. You ain't got nothing more out of it. Now, with the whole you know, thing that you guys was talking about that it wasn't working properly, I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, info that I found out. If you're not a streamer, you're not a YouTuber and you're not a content creator, you're not affected. If you're hooking it up from wire to the TV directly from the console, you're fine. There should be okay. no connection issues, there should be no 4K, handshake, whatever crap involved. Mm -hmm. There's two different settings of 4K on the PS4, if no one seems to realize. There's the RGB, yeah. and then there's the YRP mode. The uh -huh. YRP mode is the one that you're going to want to use which works with all 4K televisions, whether if it's native or just upscale. That's one reason for you to get that easy fix. Now, with the whole capture card shit that the Mizzle was talking about, the first instance that the Elgato has not updated for the 4K. That's why oh. it's not working properly and you need to have a splitter. Oh. Second thing is, when people are doing the whole streaming thing like Maximilian did, he had to wire everything from his old PS4 into the VR headset uh, dongle box in order for him to get the siphon router to, into the PS4 Pro just to get a visual. Mm. Now, mind you, it's still not in 4K of what he's showing on stream. It's only in 720. Mm. So there's a lot of routing issues with software. With a friend of mine, he has a May 12 capture card. It works seamlessly because it supports 4K out of the gate. Mm -hmm. He does 1080. So you have to downscale everything, period. So there's no point to use a, the 4K Pro mode on an Elgato device. It's not recommended. Mm -hmm. And right. um, it's, again, it's not a bad console. It works for some games, like uh, King Simi was saying, like Tomb Raider is a good uh, reference point. Mm -hmm. Call of Duty and Warfare is another good reference point, and so is The Last of Us. Mm -hmm. But they have two modes. They have the PS4 Pro mode, which uses the HDR thing to make it more color. Mm -hmm. um, more updated with pictures and stuff, and then they have frame mode. Frame mode allows older games from 30 frames to jump up to 60 if the update has been patched onto the game. If it has not, you will see clipping, and it will only run at 5 to 20. Yeah, clipping sucks, man. Like, ugh. you know, uh, the No Digital Foundry, they all like were showing side by sides. I think it was Digital Foundry. Uh, um, yeah, it was, it was Digital Foundry. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they blasted it because of the fact that these games shouldn't run worse on PS4 Pro, and that and they were they were confused on why Sony isn't isn't you know putting their hammer down on these developers not you know going through with that because that was the whole thing. Hold up, games. hold up. I'm glad you said that, and I don't mean to cut you off. Matter of fact, I'm probably just gonna lump this off into one topic, trying different formats for the show, but mm -hmm. um, apparently. There was an article talking about, um, and I, I think I got this from Review Tech because I was listening, you know, I listened to his show as if it was like a radio show. 
uh, while I'm driving and it's apparently Sony is you know that it's up to the developers to patch all their games mm -hmm. to use the, uh, the the horsepower of the PlayStation 4 Pro right all first-party games are guaranteed to be free third party <laughs> third party may not it, it, it's it's not guaranteed that those patches will be free because the developers like look at like someone like a Ubisoft or Capcom or Konami well what they have to do is go back and, and devote more manpower and more money to do this and I can understand where Sony was coming from they're like look like we would rather you not charge charge for it but we can understand if you do and we won't stop you so yeah and and that's a scary thing because you're gonna have a lot of greedy folks uh, some of the greedy companies are gonna be out there doing that you know but here's my thing if this does become a practice or, or a thing for the older games you know it's gonna it look at microtransactions look at dlc like mm -hmm. it take it takes one group of people to say yeah i need to have this you right. know what I mean? And then there's going to be like going like performance patches. And on PC, they're free. You know what I mean? But th that doesn't sit well with me where knowing that Sony wouldn't step in and tell them, hey, you can't do that. You know what I mean? Well, what as consoles goes, like PC games follow. Because like before on PC, you had mods and DLC that was essentially free. But once dlc became a thing on console starting with the original xbox and playstation 2 mm -hmm. when they started to charge for it because everybody remembers the infamous horse armor back on the uh, uh -huh. elder scrolls game okay. like that's when pc like developers got it in their head like you know what we're gonna start charging for downloadable content and add-ons too mm. but so, you know what Duffner Toys called it a long time ago. He was even saying that in the Dreamcast era when I used to go to his house. And he said that, watch, he, he sat in one of these meetings and he's like, Alex, I'm telling you, they're going to start charging nickel and diming you for everything. And I'm like, ah, nah, they're not going to do that. They just didn't have the, an infrastructure or internet fast enough to do this. And now look what <laughs> happened. Now look what Got happened. Him. Yeah, you know, Street Fighter V is a, is a travesty with how they're charging for stuff man but it's what it is you know but oh you know what i do have to wrap the segment up anything yeah. for outside of this we'll put in the director's cut but um make sure you rate comment and subscribe check us out on newgameorder.com for the latest and greatest uh please subscribe tell your friends about us uh we've been making friends in rhode island connecticut you know we're, we're actually going to be hitting the road and uh you know doing like a mini tour until we actually my my grand scheme is for a new game in order to go to e3 at some point in the future you know so we can't do it without your support so with that we'll see you guys on the next uh topic stay with us all Man, right yo either one or two things will happen if they were to start charging <laughs> what's that oh hello he just disappeared. disappeared. That's the one of the two things. No, oh, <laughs> he, he, yeah, he, he got wiped out. Like, ah. <laughs> but I, I guess. Have to say real quickly, if you're not a stream, you're not a YouTube, you're not a content creator, don't get the the PS4 because if you're trying to stream this console at its native right resolution, yeah. you're gonna be mad pissed off and you're gonna sit there for hours and hours complaining how Sony made a defective console. It's not directly the hardware on the console it's mainly the the hardware and software of your capture system they, they, they haven't they. suspected the ps4 to come out so early they didn't have time to patch up these certain things like just recently whoever has xsplit thank god i recently had help from the viewer i have a lifetime membership of xsplit so shout out yeah. to him mm -hmm. and xsplit has supported 4k resolution only for facebook and youtube not yet for, for gaming. PS4 or Xbox One or even for some PC games. Yeah, the so, reason for that is I think also uh, it's not as much data being you know transferred back and forth visually. Now games it's just ridiculous amount of feeds going through, so they have to do like some sort of update at a uh, later point in time. 
Right, right. But there's no sense for you to get a 4K console right now if you don't have a 4K TV. And second off, why would you need something of higher resolution? The game is not going to change. The uh -huh. game's not going to play better. It's still going to be the same content. Uh -huh. You're not getting anything spectacular. Uh -huh. And if they do start charging for all the games to have an updated resolution for the PS4 Pro mode, as they call it, uh -huh. and they start charging people, no one's going to buy that. You should just make it that you make it to a mandatory point. If you have a PS4 Pro, you get the, the free update. You still have a regular PS4 and you want a better 1080p experience, mm -hmm. you may have to pay, which is fine because you should already be on the jump, but you don't have to conform to everyone else. If mm -hmm. you're a hardcore person, get the 4K shit. You know, yeah, yeah, if you're just about the experience, go for it. Yeah, like, yeah so. Yeah. Oh, um, shout out to Blazing. He said, um, oh, he accepted my apology for not being around. You know, mil drill. Going to Rhode Island Comic Con, you know, a lot of stuff uh, was going Life on. Life happens, bro. Yeah, Life happens. but um, he did s say that uh, Ed Boon is teasing guest characters for Injustice or for oh, yeah. Well, he he Sub Zero and Zero. Spawn. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Spawn? I would think Spawn should have shown up in Mortal Kombat or something. But... Well, the reason why is because the the Mortal Kombat to the end of its life cycle. And, um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> what what is this guy? Is it Tom McFarlane? I don't yeah. Know All right. Tom McFarlane had an interview with a video game uh, podcast saying that he licensed out his Spawn product to several companies, and he did mention NetherRealm Studios. He mm -hmm. said they could do whatever the fuck they want with my character. They got the okay. He, they got the license. The license. Yeah, they, bro. Have, they have it there, but they want to find a right Tom to use the character and they're saying maybe Injustice 2 or a future update of MKX may have him in the game now. Finally. Well, and you know what? I forgot to mention, Shinwar and I actually got to um, see Tom McFarlane at um, New York Comic Con like he was, you know, everybody was cheering for him. They're like, you know, one thing I'm starting to notice, we're meeting a lot of famous people uh, as of late. Like, you know, with Stan Lee being like the big thing, Gal Gadot, a lot of comic book people, like, you know, comics, movies, games have like something in common, you know, so, I mean, it's some cool stuff, and to see McFarlane doing something new with the character, or licensing out, that, that does justice to his <coughs> Alright, so, I'm gonna start the next topic, it's just gonna be a combo, um, Gears of War uh, 4, and the... Nintendo Switch uh, RAM limitations, you know. Well, I, I wanted to bring up one last thing on the Nintendo Switch. Did you guys see the Ada video where he had the fake Nintendo Switch? No. My oh fact, man, let me it, find can, this. Can thing. you put that in the um, on the Facebook on the New Game right. Order Facebook, and then I'll be able to view it from there. But um, okay, we are you know director's cut. You're getting all the unedited. Crap, but uh, I thought that shit was legit, man. That shit was, cra yeah, it was crazy. All right, so it was funny. It was funny. All right, uh, hold on, me, I'm, hold on. I'm, don't I'm, start it up. You just yet. Let me just find the video right quick because no, I mean, I could start it and then you know, I'll just pull it up as we're going along. <coughs> All right, all right, so we're gonna start up in three, two, one. Oh, it's a juggernaut, baby. New game in order back for our second half of the show. Um, Again, I'm trying different formats, uh, you know, just to see what what catches. But um, with that, uh, this will be the final segment of the show, and then we'll, we're going to do quicker PSAs at the end so that they don't, you know, <coughs> run on for too long. But uh, hopefully we can do it in a 10-minute time span. We'll see how that works. But um, I wanted to talk about uh, Gears of War 4. And, you know, I would say... The game itself, Demiz was talking about it earlier, it's a good game, really good game, but it failed to meet the, the hype, or, you know, I think a lot of it had to do with advertising, or lack thereof, and I'm seeing that, like, a game with, with, with that kind of quality is not really getting its just due. I don't see a lot of people talking about it too much, and as we're seeing here, um, the developers of Coalition said, you know, if Gears of War 4 doesn't tank uh, too badly, you know, it, it'll continue. But if it fails, the future could be in jeopardy. And I would hate to see that because you have games like uh, Shenmue, 
like you know you're at a, a pivotal point in the game or in the story arc and you don't have a conclusion you know what i mean and gears of war has a following you know what i mean so i just wanted to get the the staff's thoughts on what is it that's not getting that same spark like halo or gears of war in the past you know so um uh, let me start off with the missile what are your thoughts on why maybe Gears of War 4 isn't really catching the bait, or the bait's not pulling in uh, Big Fish? Well, it was um, released kind of early. Like, usually Gears of War is released in, like, November, November like, yeah. or late October at the very, very start of the holiday rush season. So I do think you'll see an uptick in sales now that it is the holiday season. Mm -hmm. And... Like, you can get it at a discounted price, so okay. I guarantee it, like, it'll hit at least 2 million views by this coming January. I mean, not views, 2 million sales by this coming January, mm -hmm. added to the fact that it's one of the games that has uh, the cross-play function and the cross-buy function with the digital, because mm -hmm. that is one of the ways that Microsoft is pushing their digital service. Mm -hmm. um, I guarantee you'll see more people have it by the start of the new year. I'm just going to say it's it's a good game. It's a really good game. You know, the story actually has you worried about certain characters like if they're going to make it or not, that kind of stuff and it it's really the narrative moves along very smoothly in my opinion. You know, but there are some parts where I felt it kind of stalled, especially like in the beginning. It's just, I felt there was a lot of yes. filler in, uh, you uh, know, yes. with the robots uh. and everything, but <coughs> I will say this though, like one thing that does hurt it is that it was released around the same time as Battlefield 1 and like as much as I like Gears of War 4, if you've played Gears of War you essentially know what to expect. Mm -hmm. That being said, like Battlefield 1 is something wholly new and it, a lot of people gravitated towards that. Uh -huh. Like I wasn't expect, I knew it was going to be a very big game but I wasn't expecting it to be as big as it was and a lot of people are still on battlefield one but as i said i do expect people to discover gears of war 4 and a lot of people will own that game by the start of the new year okay okay now um being that we're doing a combo topic i just wanted to see anybody else wants to jump in on like gears of war or like whatever your thoughts are as to why it's probably not getting the steam that it was expecting well, I got a question. Like, when you say the steam, are you talking about the sales, or are you sales. talking about what? I mean, because the thing is, the, the the sales to me are something that we can't even. How are we gonna get into it when they don't count these digital sales? You know what I'm saying? Well, you know like, what? That is true. That is like, true. Like, I don't know anybody that bought the physical version, and don't and don't the bundles don't the bundles come with a digital version too? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so it's, it's like, like they potentially cut half their profit, exactly. but then again. So I, you know, they, I'm they not gotta, hearing nobody talking about it. That that is something I will say. I don't I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. I'm not seeing a whole lot of mm -hmm. people like streaming it or, or putting it on YouTube. There are a lot of people online playing it though. Yeah, they're yeah, playing but it. I, I, but... That's that's my main. Th I'm not hearing a lot of people talking about it. But as far as the sales go, for all we know, they could have did a whole lot more sales than what we're seeing because that 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 digital version is what everybody got. Does so, anybody here have a physical what, version? I do. I I, I don't. I have the I, got, I have the gaming got, anywhere version for on the on this desktop, and then I have the Xbox one. That's the digital version. Yeah. So, it's, <laughs> I mean, my thing is, it's like should they count it by twos and say how many units are sold, nah, or nah, I don't know. Don't nah, if you get the digital version, that's just like they're essentially giving you the PC version for free. Yeah, yeah. Just count it as one sale, but we we gotta start we gotta start getting digital sales, man. Because I mean, at this point we could be we could be just giving out false information that you know that it's like you know people are not into it or it's not getting a lot of mm -hmm. a lot see, of sales and it actually could be getting a lot of sales see yeah. the thing is like getting the number for digital sales is a lot easier than getting the number for a physical copy for because exactly. physical copies like you have to ship them from your warehouse to your consumers warehouse exactly. or, you know, to sometimes a they fall off the back of a truck quote unquote you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. but like with, you know, <laughs> with a digital sale you can <laughs> easily go to gamestop or best buy and like look how many of these yeah. digital codes did you get oh you don't even have to do that you can just check your own service exactly. and see how many your digital own... codes have been activated exactly. there, you, the go. there you go how many codes have been redeemed this month 
that's all you got to do. Mm-hmm. So I'm not I'm not sure what the whole problem is why they won't just do that. But mm-hmm. I mean, as far as gear, I, I can say for me personally, and this is what I said when I first saw the gears gameplay at E3. You know, it, it's gears is just getting a little tiring for me. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I, I I played the beginning part. I got to the. I got to the part where them big, them big monsters are jumping on you. Shit, they they mount you and shit like that. Like I've gotten to that part. And mounting then, you what? You know, you know the what the what the the part that that you see at E3, oh, the gameplay, that part. Oh, hold on, he, he said they. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they, 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 yeah, I'm saying they mount you a little bit, man. Like uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. y'all too much. Yeah, but, Chris but, is yeah, on point. I mean, the game is fun. Saying. The game is fun, but I got distracted, man. Battlefield came out. I got Tomb Raider, I got Mafia, yeah. I got all these other games that I want to play because like I said, the gears got a little bit tiring for me, man. That, that formula, that that same formula has got a little bit tiring. For me. Yeah, Personally. they only added minor gameplay upgrades like, yeah. you know, how you can pull somebody over cover and stab them or yeah. instant kills. I, well. also That's a like, nice new addition. Uh, nice new I like, addition. I also like the, uh, the atmosphere that they introduce is not the same atmosphere so it feels mm-hmm. like a new I, I would say it feels more like the first game where it was a more intimate experience mm-hmm. instead of like the second and third game where you're just part of these huge like you're just one piece in these huge battles and everything but you i think they tried to go back to that type of setting and they succeeded where you could focus more on the characters themselves Mm -hmm. but i will say this the flashbacks excellent i love that part playing like you know pieces in history of gears of war that you didn't ordinary you didn't see in the first trilogy You know, filling in the pieces with Emergence Day and all that. So that was really cool. And, you know, I, I don't want this to be like a spoiler, so I won't go into to detail. But... I ain't getting the game master, don't worry about it. <laughs> you know what, you son of a bitch. All right. I know. Hold on. All right. Um, with that, like, for the rest of the staff, anything on Gears of War or if you didn't play it yet? If not, okay, moving on. Um, Nintendo. Some people are at the techspot.com had an article talking about the, um, not the NX, the damn Switch. I, I gotta get drill it into my head. Um, apparently, Nintendo, the Nintendo Switch will only support 4 gigs of RAM and could potentially support VR in the future. You know, now, considering what the Nintendo Switch games look like, do you really need all that RAM? Is it a big deal? Like some people are giving Nintendo uh, shit over it. Like I would have to say yes. Okay, because, what is like in PC gaming and in console gaming now, like eight gig is essentially the standard. It's like the minimum you have to have. Like even though very well, few remember games, what the Switch is. Remember what it well, is. Well, I, I understand what it is, but like when you have it in dock mode, like. You're, you're developing <clears throat> deep inside. <laughs> With the something Shout out. out. Find out which one of y'all gonna toast my salad. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Haas twins, but um, like you, like people, are like oh, you don't need more than four because it's essentially a gaming tablet, and I disagree with that because you want this gaming tablet to have parity with the home consoles and. Like, uh, if you, if any of you guys out there remember the NVIDIA Switch, not NVIDIA Switch, the NVIDIA Shield, Mm -hmm. like, the NVIDIA Shield only has 4 gig of RAM, and while the NVIDIA Shield looks good, like, it can't play the latest and greatest games on the best and highest settings. Okay. And since the ram requirements for games are going up like if you look at gears of war on the pc mm-hmm. if you look at forza horizon 3 on the pc if you look at games like mafia 3 on the pc those games require for like they use up four gig of ram so they require at least like six gigs of ram to run like four gig for the game and two for your os like i know gaming systems don't have that intensive os and have to do a lot of background functions but Mm -hmm. you see with the xbox one and the playstation 4 Mm -hmm. they have 8 gig of ram and they use that 8 gig for a very specific reason having four unless nintendo has like a very 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 bare bones os and having to go from console mode to uh 
handheld mode, I don't think 4 is going to cut it. I really don't. Well, well, we'll see. I mean, you know, um, talking about the PlayStation uh, VR, it, I thought it required more than what me and Shinwar got to play, and it still worked, you know. But we have to see. We have to see. But, like, I wanted to get um, on your knees thoughts on that. Um, I mean, any uh, thoughts on Nintendo? We know they are always severely lacking with power, but, I mean... With four gigs of RAM and then potentially supporting VR in the future, is that even possible? Oh wow! <laughs> and he's gone. Oh. He's gone. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll come back. Oh, I'll wait. I'm back. I'm sorry. I, I was muted. You want to uh, be black? What? What? Wait, what was <laughs> <laughs> he said he wanted to be black. That's what I thought I heard. <laughs> oh, wait, you know, get okay, okay, copyright strike. On that. All right, go ahead, man. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm doing everything I can to take down the channel, by the way. Oh, yeah, um, that's awesome. <laughs> I'll just play some more uh, PSO uh, Unlimited Bur Blue Burst or whatever the fuck it was. Get you in trouble again. How's that sound? Oh, Blue Balls? Yeah. Yeah, they freaking blue took, balls. <laughs> yeah, they took down that video with the quickness, huh? The heck? Damn, Nintendo. But, uh, yeah, so uh, Nintendo's just like that's the Force Gumpish child who never fucking learns. Mm -hmm. Uh,. How many consoles have they been underpowered? Um, the three Wii, now? Wii, the Wii, Wii U, and a Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'm going to say the Cube was underpowered too. No, like the Nintendo GameCube was actually more powerful than the original Xbox and the PlayStation 2 from a hardware perspective. The, the okay. original Xbox? Yeah. Like the, the problem that the GameCube had was just that it, you, it, it used, used proprietary it. medium, which was those yeah. stupid mini discs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so they didn't have the store space, but they. I'm still waiting on that Eternal Darkness sequel. That's never going to happen, sadly. But um, uh -huh. uh, but yeah, that's that's going to be nowhere near enough unless they're going to do some booty ass thing where it's going to be like the um, the VR headset thing where you put your phone in it and it's that crappy thing. Oh yeah, yeah, the Samsung thing. We got to test that out at uh, New York Comic Con. It's not bad as long as it has the 360 so, stuff. So Alex, what else did you test it out with? You know what? They need Stop those. It. those, those <laughs> you know where I'm going with this, right? I can't wait. I want to see this. <laughs> you know, oh, we did a podcast on that, like the adult games and stuff. Like, <laughs> you know what? On your knees, you're fired. And then now you you're can't rehired. Fire me. You're rehired. Yeah, I know. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I, I what? Half the cost, you rap bastard. Yeah, I know. Damn, I'm. I'm How really. This you don't is, even pay me anything now, so what the fuck's the point? I know, this is a poverty <laughs> show. You know, we're trying to get that partnership. Poverty, a poverty show for poverty boxes? Yeah, yeah. Poverty boxes. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, but uh, um, thank you for your input. Um, Mugen, your, your thoughts on Nintendo, like, is 4 gigs enough? We know the answer to that. But with VR, though, is it even possible? I will say this much. I would just wait until the console comes out give it time to actually use the device and see what it's capable of all this post speculation of like what people are saying um, it's getting over hype like you just recently had a topic with the whole gears award thing of people like not liking it or not picking it up it could just be things that we don't know because we're not getting certain numbers from the company so we really can't tell you what the game is actually going well in sales or whatever the case may be but for the switch it is a semi-old uh, idea that's been re in mm -hmm. its own way. Yeah. But for the four gigs of RAM, <coughs> I mean, mainly use only yet so much RAM to uh, enforce the game's graphics and to do background um, stuff within the OS, as to do what the Nizza was saying. Mm -hmm. You really don't need that much. And plus, Nintendo's always been simplistic since the jump. So mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't, you know, see the reason why they need more, but. I would just wait until March of next year. We could revisit this topic back up again because it, this is a huge speculation because this is something that Nintendo's been wanting to do and they might finally break out of that first party effect where they will allow third party games to come back and make the console much better mm -hmm. than it was with the Wii U and the regular Wii. The GameCube by far is the best Nintendo selling console that they have and the best thing that they I got I thought it was the Wii. No. 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 The Wii no. only did good in um international sides. Okay. And in America it did poorly. That's mm -hmm. the reason why we modded the shit out of it 
Sorry, Nintendo. But we modded the shit out of it, and we was able to play anything from emulators to working a full version of Windows and Linux. Yeah, they raped that system. So, they, they held it down, face down, ass up. What? But the 3DS is their best-selling product that they have. <laughs> well, no. Hey, it remains to be seen. Okay, so with that, um, you know, I'm going to bring the podcast to a close. Wait, 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 wait. Don't Before you close it. Yeah, the video, right? Did you put it on the Facebook page or like through Messenger? I, I sent you, you through Messenger as well as the Discord, but uh, let me do it on the Facebook no, page. Yeah, yeah I, I'm getting it right now. Like, uh, for those of you who don't know Etika, Etika is a Twitch streamer and he's very funny and dude is just off the chain like a couple of days ago he revealed on his stream to be what people thought was a nintendo switch and he had everybody fooled and what it turned out to be he's not even holding it on the screen like long enough for us to and and his his chat is going crazy yeah man he took took that shit apart though he took the little controllers off the side though that's what they yeah, mean. like what, that's what he, he 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 fooled everybody. Like I was sort of <laughs> fooled, but I was like, "Yo, that's got to be a 3D printed model, and it's a really good 3D printed model because wait that's what minute, it actually wait is." Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Why would you actually go on live and so he, here's the thing? I bet you his followers went up. Uh, here, here's oh yeah, yeah! That. Somebody donated to him while that thing was going on. So here, here's my thing. Like, no offense to like the guy, whatever the hell his name is, but you're he's actually in Brooklyn. You're, you're gonna get your channel banned because one, you're going against the uh, policy rights and act what you're doing. Two, you falsely advertise a product that's not even out. So now I am very much worried about your your little vision of your YouTube channel. It's about to go disappear. Wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. Over. Oh, well, it. it... He he admitted it was a joke and like no. in <laughs> his um you see him laughing right like he's just like balling right now and even his... if he joked he still violated several policies from Nintendo and YouTube. I, oh, he doesn't he have an Nint- he doesn't channel. have a YouTube channel. I don't believe. I think he's purely a Twitch. a Twitch streamer. Well, then but he could get banned from gone. there too. His banned. Twitch is going gone then because you you, you went overboard. You went way too over, even if it was a comical joke. You, you, your shit will be taken down probably. Man, like, people must have had a meltdown. It looks legit though. Like, Dimizzo, yeah, what is that? Like, are you, oh, it's are a, you it's guys a, seeing this? It's a, it's a 3D printed uh, model of uh, a Nintendo NX. And let me find the video of them uh, Wait a minute. printing it up. It looks legit, like, for real. No, the thing is, why didn't he turn it on? Like, yeah, obviously. No, he, he he didn't turn it on, but like he had that specially made so he could do that. And like, I'm gonna post the video where they actually explain it, like the people who actually made it for him. Uh huh. And it's it's a very cool process of what they went through and everything. Wow. He he. he... <laughs> All right, I got it. It's it's on the stream now. I'm looking. I'm like, this oh, clever man. bastard. No, but what's the screen? Like, it looks like it's... It's just a 3D printed screen. It, it's a non-functioning screen. <laughs> Wait a minute. These 3D printers, bro. What the heck? But it takes a while to, to make the whole... Printer. Yeah, it took him a while to do this, but... Yeah. It's a very good replica. Gotta say that. <laughs> what You know yeah. what? Here's the thing, too. Like, who leaked the specs or the schematics of the system? Too. Well, you can you can look at the thing and get a fairly good yeah, idea. Like a small ass, like six to seven inch, and you uh, just have the grooves to fit on the side of it for the controllers. It's pretty easy to replicate. Okay, okay, wow, I, I he, man, that that's cool. I ain't gonna. I, lie. Have, I have to give a, a big sh- a big shout out to Etika because that was good. I was watching the stream when that happened, and I was like, whoa, is that a I was like, wow, because I was one of the dudes in the chat. I was like, oh, man, the chat's blowing up. He yeah, actually man. revealed the Nintendo Switch. And yeah. then when I went back and watched it again, I, like, freeze-framed it. I was like, I think that's a 3D-printed model. I think it is. <laughs> what an <laughs> asshole. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> to also to also like tell you like if you were to zoom in on this, like if you were to take a screenshot, there's no Nintendo uh, in branding on the side of the controller, which there is on the one. Yeah. Was to turn it around. It's supposed to be like a a licensed product number on the back as well, so you can opt to tell the shit's a fucking fake right from the start. Uh huh. Wow. And the funny thing yeah. is, girl, is girls wearing the PlayStation shirt. <laughs> I like how his girl like just backed up out of the frame, like yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, "What the hell? Hold on, hold on. Let me go back to seeing her face." Like, yo, like, yo, dumbass. Like, why am I dating you again? <laughs> Shut up, Takuma. He looked just like you. Hold up. Oh, yo, yo, this dude looked like Takuma. What the? Oh. And she's like backing up. Look, guys, guys, I look at her reaction. She's just like, hold up, hold up. I want nothing to do with this. <laughs> exactly. I thought that was funny as hell. Oh, oh my gosh, what the heck? I ain't going to jail because of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> but you obviously can tell that she was like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. She's like, back away from the, the, the replica. Put the replica <laughs> down. Right. But, um, let yeah, me, yeah, let that, me that, that's, that has, that's me. Let, let me ask uh, something. It was in the previous stuff just discussed in the earlier bits of this podcast. Who is this guy who's all these fucking rants and making like all these Sony? Sony oh, what the crap gamer and uh, 316 crap killer? Gamer. Okay. Uh, 1316. Okay, so now since I know the user, I saw a couple of his videos in the past. Yeah. Um, I will put this out there, not just uh, as a bringing his name up now. If you ever steal any NGO content, I will promise you to get your shit shut the fuck down. <laughs> do not do that. Wait, wait, wait which one? Uh, um, crap? Uh, I don't think. I think you mean thirteen. Whoever you mentioned that stole people's videos to use in his own content. Oh, the the, the uh, that's thirteen sixteen killer. Okay. So you do not have the right to do that. You are lucky that people don't go out and report you on YouTube. They probably are not well, like the the reason why he gets away with it is under fair use. If he doesn't use like the whole thing, if he uses like, oh, no. bits and like pieces 10, of 10, it. No, 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 no. He, he, here's the funny thing. You can't use even five seconds of a video. He no, I think you have up until ten seconds. No, no, not no more. No, if I have original video link. And I provide it to you right now and say this is my content that I made this. I can sh to shut your shit down. You do not have any legal right. Well, you have to. Seconds, and five seconds, ten seconds does not matter. In order to uh, set that up on uh, YouTube, because it is an option when you upload a video, there is an option to um, have it not be able to use for fair use of like somebody's doing some kind of reporting and they use your footage they have to contact you first it'll send you a notice uh -huh. that so and so is trying to contact you for use of your video yeah. and you can say yes or no but by default if you don't set that setting like every video on youtube is set under fair use like yeah, it but can there be are used people, there are people who don't know about these policies and regulations and they just steal people's content like there's a friend of mine who's a big streamer all his shit gets uh put onto youtube before he releases it and he's like yo who the fuck you think you are taking my content and taking my money from my production uh -huh. so he goes on there and gets all the shit points to the youtube and gets it all taken down only thing you're doing for us is giving us money mm. you keep stealing our shit you're gonna give us free money so let's let's be a little bit smart about this your channel or giving us money well, Which one? No, my, my my only yeah. issue with thirteen sixteen killer is his stuff. Like, well, from what I've been seeing, the majority is him jumping on other people or other YouTubers. Like, hey, at the end of the day, I even saw people who watch this channel. Like, hey, if there's something you don't like on there, hey, go ahead and make your own video or whatnot. But don't use it to build your channel. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can disagree, but, like, to have, like, a whole video, like, ripping on somebody or whatever. Like, I don't agree, agree with Crap Gamer and the fanboy stuff. But like thirteen, sixteen, or whatever his name is, like it's. I mean, th he has some good videos. Don't get me wrong, but it it's just. Your God. <laughs> well, hey, it's what it is. But uh, I'm overtime actually. I got some yeah errands to run. But 
um, going around the table. Any final remarks from the staff? And then uh, if not, then I'm going to turn it over to Takuma for a positive note of the week. And then we're going to close out. Yes, no? Erica. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, with that, new game in order. Uh, Takuma, positive note of the week. What you got? People, stay woke. Just because the world is changing. <laughs> stay woke. <laughs> Wait, say it again. Stay woke. Just because the world is changing at the end, the end of this year, going to... Don't get your past to act stupid. So stay woke. Stay alert. All right, stay alert, stay alive, Army saying. Um, I want to thank the staff. Uh, let me thank y'all individually. To D Mizzle, K Simi, uh, On Your Knees, Takuma, and Mugen for participating this week. Um, we are going to be back in rotation as, you know, unusual events have popped up. But just stay tuned for the PlayStation Pro, uh, no, PlayStation VR video segment that Shinwar and I did you guys will really like it uh, I, you know that's like my little passion project right there for the company so uh, without further ado we are done for this week rate comment and subscribe check us out on newgameorder.com for the latest and greatest or I will hit you with the juggernaut head press bitch and we'll see you guys next week peace okay local recording is done uh, thanks you guys for participating I appreciate it and uh um, I gotta get going, but um, if you guys or anybody's gonna stream something, your the channel is open, and I'll see y'all later. Later. Alright, peace.